Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another Skeleton Crew episode of Paleo Pines. We're really excited to be diving back in with Dr. Jimbo's uh, journey. But before we do, once again, we need to remind you that coming up mere days away now, on June 17th, that is Saturday, from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Time, we will be having our charity live stream benefiting the Trevor Project in celebration of Pride Month. We're really, really excited to have the opportunity to engage with the audience and to raise money for what we believe is a really, really great cause. So please join us on Saturday where we will, among other things, be continuing Dr. Jimbo's journey in Paleo Pines and having a chance to chat with the developers of the game. We'll also be live ranking Indominus Rex as part of our tier list for Jurassic World Evolution 2. We'll be playing some new dinosaur games that many people have requested that we haven't had a chance to look at yet, such as Path of Titans. And we'll be doing some live Lego builds as well as a number of other things. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be 12 hours of fun. So we're gonna be exhausted by the end of it, but it's for a great cause. Remember that the first hundred donors over $5 or of $5 or more, excuse me, We'll be receiving as a gift, as a thank you for donating, a limited ex limited edition exclusive sticker from the Skeleton Crew. And that our top donor, as a gift, will be receiving a print of Paleo Art from Henry Sharp. It's a beautiful print of a Chinzalsaurus. A framed were... print. A framed print, framed, yes, yeah. nonetheless. If James were here, we'd show it off. Uh, he is not. He's been- He's right here. He's been he's zoomed right into the computer verse and his- portrait was left behind. He didn't like bring that Scooby-Doo movie. Yeah. We've cyber changed wrong. James. And now he's in there. He's trapped. And the only way to get him out is to join us on the live stream on Saturday. So if you want to rescue James and pull him out of Paleo Pines, you have to come. And we need a critical mass of viewers to do it. And we're not going to tell you how many. So if you think you need to be there, you need to be there. Only you can save... Jimbo oh, from a fate worse than death. <laughs> Being trapped in this idyllic dinosaur community. <laughs> Where he has a house and land and <laughs> oh man, this is, this is really nice. <laughs> serotonin. And serotonin. Before we get back into Jimbo's journey, we need to reintroduce ourselves. I'm Dalton Meyer, PhD candidate at Yale University. I'm Amelia Zietlow, PhD candidate at Amer the American Museum of Natural History. I'm Scott Johnston, the vertebrate paleontology fossil preparator and technician at Harvard University's Museum of Comparative Zoology. Hi, I'm Alex Rubenstahl, a PhD candidate at Yale University. And together, we're together. all fated for the worms. We're the skeleton crew! Ooh, the skeleton crew. <laughs> <laughs> we're all fated for the worms, you are. Let's crack back into paleo pines. So we've just, last episode we ended by getting our flute, having a toot, oh, and yeah. planting oh, yeah. some carrots. There's a notebook symbol over the carrots. Can we? Can you like research them or something? I'm going to research the carrots. It might really, be yeah, tell us about carrots. Their their roots. It's their plants. You caught me off guard. Um, I don't know super much about them other than they're related to. Um, oh my God, what is it? That's the. the it burns. You don't want to touch it. Wild oh, something. Ivy? No, wild parsnips. Oh. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know wild parsnips not, burn. No, I'm trying. I'm not. It's not actually what it is, but it's like Queen Anne's lace and like that family of things. Like there's. Nettles? there's huh? Nettles? No, 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 no. It's not a nettle. Um, it's. Uh, oh, my God. It's going to drive me nuts. I'm going to look it up. But anyway, they're part of that group. Um, So Queen Anne's lace have also like if you are, are some flowers that you might have in your gardens, they've got these kind of... I need to make sure I'm not being stupid. Hold on. I was no, not expecting... <laughs> I didn't mean to do this to you. Carrot no, I, I, I didn't... Yeah, no, Queen Anne Lace. Let me see, so Queen Anne's Lace, I don't... I just, I need to know what it is. Aviation. Aviation? Aviation. Aviation. It flies? It flies yeah, yeah, I'm right. No, I'm right. Um... <laughs> APACA. I wonder if that has to do with bees, because like apiary, you know, like so it's APACA and CA is a common like um what's the word? Um suffix? Suffix. Suffix for uh plant families. Um yeah, so Queen Anne's lace is 
like you may have seen them as like they've got like these discs of white little flowers that are really small and they're like mm-hmm. a I don't know if it counts as like an inflorescence technically and then sometimes they have a cute little like it's either black or a really dark purple like a single really black or re- yeah really dark one mm-hmm. in the middle surrounded by all these little white ones it's really cute um but anyway they have a relative of them that is uh poison <laughs> poisonous it's a it's a look-alike Poison hemlock. There we go. Mm. Oh. There we go. Um, so, anyways, if you see them in the wild, don't touch it. Because <laughs> you don't, unless you really, if you know your botany, go for it. Um, we're going to do a. I show off a, a phone picture again, but I just want to show you, like, these guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are yeah. lovely. Yeah, yeah. So... And they've got, like, so those feathery, like, carrot top leaves, you know, so they, they belong to this family. Um, that's. I guess that's the cool thing about them. And yeah, that so the the carrot part, the, the vegetable part um of them is uh storage for sugars and other other vitamins for the plant. So that's why it grows like that. That's also why carrots are pretty sweet. Um and they store oh. a lot of beta carotenes, I believe, in there, and that's what makes them orange. Um, so are the really big carrots, do they have alpha carotenes? Or <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sigma carotenes. <laughs> no, those are the very efficient ones. Have sigma carotenes. Um, also, to answer your question from earlier, Amelia, it's yeah. actually the the name uh, Apiacea is not uh, derived at all from meaning anything that has to do with uh, bees. It's actually from uh, apium, which is the Latin word for parsley. Oh. Oh, parsley. There you go. There's a yeah. Well, is that. I would hope that means that includes parsley, and that would make sense because they've also got feathery leaves or like dill. I bet dill's in there too because dill is the same thing. They typically have like these really feathery. Yes. Um, I'm forgetting like I'm forgetting the technical word for it, but the leaves are like branching, like they're not a single leaf. Like they've got all these little uh, partitions to them. Dill, anise, caraway, celery, coriander, cumin, dill. Yep. Uh, I already said dill. Fennel. Well, you said dill, and then you said dilf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so the fun thing about botany is that a lot of plants that you would never expect to be related are actually related. Hmm. That's because they, plants can do stupid things. Oh, they can. It's great. <laughs> They're monsters. Um, yeah. No, so yeah, carrots are cool. Like, and that, that whole family of plants, I think, is really cool. Um, and yeah, with the, the poison hemlock, Queen Anne's lace is a very, very, very good example of do not touch plants that you don't know about if you're in an area you don't know about traveling with people you don't know but if i do know about them my knowledge of them makes them safe to touch if you know that they're safe to touch no just comprehending them makes them safe. comprehending them no (laughs) knowledge gives me power knowledge is power well then you'd at least like know what you were getting into (laughs) so yes you are saying you are saying now that our viewer knows about it they're the, safe to touch. They're immune. You well, should do that. I, I'm remembering a detail about the hemlock, which is that it's specifically, if you touch it, it makes you not allergic per se, but it specifically burns in the sunlight. Like where it's what? touched. Yeah. It's, That's wild. And this also, like, full full disclosure, this is information that I've gathered, like, from my grandma and my aunts. So take that. Take that information. Up with as, them. Take Make that it up, up with them. them. Oh, Call my relatives. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, hey, you're wrong, or what? I don't know. If you want to, hey, go Grandma Zitlo. <laughs> what the? F- so this would be other Grandma. Mm. Grandma, maiden name of your mother that I do not know. <laughs> I'm gonna write a letter. Well, I'm not dear, gonna share. Given dear that Amelia, <laughs> this, dear to Amelia's grandmother, I rubbed this leaf uh, over my undercarriage, and now I find that I have umbrage with you. <laughs> isn't um isn't hemlock what they poisoned socrates with yeah. yes yeah and i don't and now what i'm i i believe that's a tree like i don't think it's the same hemlock but i'm gonna look oh. it i'm looking it up on that, no it's not no it is the same okay thank god <laughs> well because again like as as you may or may not know from plants convergence is wild and so a lot of their diversity was Kind of flying under the radar until oh, we had genetics. Actually, we just called a lot of like the fact that we call things berries that are mostly not berries. 
So actually, yeah, it's 100% legit as well that um, the family ABACA includes a significant number of, this is a word I've never seen before, phototoxic species. Wow. So the moral of the story cool. is trust your grandma when she says don't touch the plant. That's wild. Yeah, Except no, it's in really the dark. cool. And they're really big too. So like that was, they're, they're, they're really, they're relatively tall. Like, yeah, they're, I've seen them. They're scary. They're intimidating. Huh. Cool. Yeah. Wow. The well, only plants I'm intimidated by are the ones that have big uh, zigzag cartoon mouths on them. Well. <laughs> All other plants, easy. Well, th that's not too far off um, from another plant that I know very little about and that is very little studied, unfortunately. That's called a sheep eater. You heard of the sheep eater? What? No. I've never heard of a sheep eater. I'm looking. I'm very interested right to know now. more. About right now. So as the story goes, again, it's not, I don't believe it's actually been like super well studied, but basically they're these plants that grow on the sides of cliffs and things. And basically they're, they're very spiky and like, you know, I'm trying, God, no, sheep eater. Oh my God. It's directing me to the wrong place entirely. Um, they're really like spiny and prickly, and it looks like they're they're bromeliad. Remember, we were talking about sixty five earlier, for some reason or another. Um, there's a lot more things that are bromeliads than I would ever expect. Uh, but they're bromeliad. I believe they're. Ooh, I wonder actually if they're. Are they? Sorry, no, they're not. They they they're remind. Not sorry. Me. They're not sorry. No. No, they remind me a lot of um, the way they look kind of looks like an agave uh, mm -hmm. or an aloe, but it's not. Um, so basically, they're really huge. They're like two meters tall, six feet tall. Um, the flower is described as looking like a mace. The cool. plant itself is like kind of prickly and spiny, and they've got like these like hairs and doohickeys that are like really, uh, really grippy, really grabby. So as the story goes, they live in mountain on the sides of mountains and things where uh in chile specifically um okay. where occasionally livestock such as sheep and other other mammals will pass by and because sheep have wool and wool is easy to get snagged on things what happens is as the sheep walk by their wool gets snagged in the thorns and the prickles of the sheep eater plant and it dies because it's stuck and then it dies and fertilizes the plant that's wild. That's oh, this is the story. I don't believe it's actually been like formally, formally studied. So it could be like an old wives tale type thing from the farmers of that region. I don't really know um, if there's been like modern research on, is this actually a thing that they do? Um, or if large animals like a sheep actually get stuck, you know? Huh. Mm -hmm. um, Viewer, if you're a botanist or are interested in botany, um, Research this and then tell America, uh, uh, tell Amelia's grandma that she's wrong. Well, tell America. So grandma. this, I don't, I don't know where I learned about the. Sheep no, 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 no. It was, it, I, I wasn't trying to say that it was that you said it earlier. I was just like doing yes and of just like all plant facts inform Amelia's grandma about. Well, no, this one he's got to bring to the old wives and bring tell them to, to the stop telling wives. their tales. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, again, it's not not been like studied, studied which honestly i wish someone would um because it sounds i don't know it, it's very compelling very cool um huh. and yeah so it's, it's not just sheep but like it's small mammals birds and things because they've got these kind of long grabby jeez vines and things that's um, weird. that's pretty cool yeah wow well we've just Plans learned are cool <laughs> We've learned so much right now. It's been 15 <laughs> minutes into our dinosaur game and we haven't closed the journal. It's also a farming game. We're talking about plants and yeah. farms and sheep. You know, Compelling we're point. staying on topic. We've also learned it's going to take three days for these carrots to mature. So we'll, we'll water them daily and we'll come back and in three days we'll have some yummy carrots. And I will pause the game. All right. Now... Let's go try to make some dinosaur friends. Yes. We need to go back and find those cute little ankylosaurs. I think yes. those are my favorite so far. I like the, the ankylosaurs blue. and whatever those things were with them. The scoochies. How are we doing for food? I'm curious. Okay, so. All right, let's go make some dino friends. Yeah. Well, before we do that, really briefly, 
I did notice the quest is to grow 10 carrots for Granny. Oh. And so I just want to make sure we plant all of those so we don't, uh, there's a mailbox. Oh, fuck. Um, we don't come to Granny empty handed. Okay, I've got six more seeds. So She'll break your legs. Yeah. <laughs> You come to me with a couple carrots short. You come to me with four carrots, and I ask for ten. What kind of a? Rinky she'll stop copy. talking to you, and just when the new new person comes by, she'll be like, "Yeah, you know, there are a lot of people that can help you in town. Don't ask a uh, don't ask Doctor Napoli to count anything for you. <laughs> you just added to her infinitely long shit list." I was gonna say she's just gonna roast you. Ooh, this is gonna drive me crazy. It's not even. Yeah, I'm not. Well, here, I've got more carrot seeds. Ooh. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that was almost a disaster. All of us just flinging. <laughs> no, Hang on, I don't want to. Okay, your stamina goes pretty quick, so it is it is a bit like Stardew in that respect, where you you use your stamina to like to hoe farm and stuff. That's why helper dinosaurs would be so important. Yeah. You gotta plant the carrots first. But yeah, that you can, well, I I think he was saying that you can use helper dinosaurs to plant carrots and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are, these, are these animals being paid or is this slave labor? Food. <laughs> food. We're giving them a room and board. Oh, okay. Okay, let's do some watering. Is, is the what watering if you can get like fun little critters in the pond? Ooh, maybe you can. Maybe a mosasaur. You like a little cow. Like yeah. Yeah, a big silly Boomerang. salamander looking thing. What were you asking, Scott? I forget. Okay. Scott, were you trying to speak? Oh, oh, I think it was. Uh, I was wondering if if uh, watering a plant was using the same amount of stamina as tilling a patch of land and I'm like I don't... that's a heavy watering can <laughs> hey watering Ooh. is the hardest work of the farm oh I think this is the tutorial I think so all right well perfect mm. greetings Dr. Jimbo I was just taking Bongo on his daily constitutional this is quite the dinosaur I love that. I love Bongo <laughs> he's got a little like heart. He's... oh god they're like the glass like the glasses some old guy in the 1930s would ride around in this automobile in. <laughs> okay, got Going for a country ride. Okay, so the flute and the Gallimimus. So I'm assuming that we've now confirmed that Bongo is a Gallimimus. Yes. Nice. The flute and the Gallimimus, we gotta find Mari. Okay, well. Mario? Not Mario. It's Mario. <laughs> this is a different, this is Mari, not Mario. Who is also not Mario. Yes. <laughs> and we know Mari's house is uh, that one, right? The yeah, it was a big yeah. tall one. Oh, whoops. I forgot the controls. <laughs> Do you have a license for this Paris or office? <laughs> go, 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 go. License for this monkey. This way. There it is. Amari. Oh, is she not home? She might not be home. This may have been a, a mistake. Where could she be? Maybe in town. Oh. I guess that's why the quest is to find her. And I don't think he said anything about where she was. But the, blo the, the boulders are in the way. No, the other town. Oh. The town. A, bo a boulder has fallen in Paleo Pine. A, a, a large boulder the size of a small boulder. <laughs> no, why do I keep thinking right click is sprint? What is sprint? Shift? Shift, yeah. yeah that makes sense. As God intended. Is this a little guy or a little rock? That's a little rock. Hey, more paleontology. <laughs> exactly. The fieldwork Dalton Ooh, and I will hopefully Ooh. be doing. 
Okay. They have so many color bear. Oh, there she is. Yeah, those are super skittish. They don't look super skittish. They keep like mobbing us as soon as we walk up to them. Zippity. I knew you were here the first moment I saw you. Pull out that flute. All right. She whispered to you after you rode your parasaurologist through the herd. Like, don't want to disturb them. All right, okay. We need to get the green one. Yes, obviously. Okay, they're doing red, red, purple, purple. Red, red, purple, purple. Oh, approaching Alaminus and press 111 to get attention. Okay. Oh, okay, Whoa. we have attention. <gasps> I like this. Red, yellow, blue, purple. Okay. Gosh, wait until you do that. Each species dies has its own call. Just listen to this Gallimimus. Okay, red, yellow, blue, purple. Oh, that's just in order. <gasps> He's getting closer. I like this mechanic. This is a, a fun way to do it. Nice, yeah. This is very oh, sweet. It's got a little friend meter. It's kind of like a uh, spore. Oh, oh yeah. my god. First we'll break their head. Can't wait to document this. We're going to be very good friends. See if we can gain its trust. Every species has a favorite food. Take this spring onion. <laughs> oh. Okay. Select the feed option and the spring onion. Take take my onion. <laughs> Amelia, would onions have existed in the time of the dinosaurs? Eat of this onion, for it is my body. <laughs> I don't know, but I can look it up. Oh, they hate spring onions. Why did oh, you? Oh no, <laughs> Mari. Carrots. Okay, maybe maybe you'll like a carrot. How long has this person been living here? <laughs> her, her good friend, like, looks like they have one of these. Munch, munch, munch. Munch a crunch it. Okay, we're in the green. We, we like spring onions. You have half a chance to make a friend. Give it another carrot. Okay, so now I see why we're going to want to farm these carrots. So we can make dinosaur friends. Ooh. Got too excited. Okay, try and calm it down. Okay, Sue. Easy. That's got, enough. Got too jazzed about carrots. You've definitely heard it. You heard one of Pippin's Poppins yet? They're traditional thing from Pippin's homeland. It's like the little cakes, but they're a bit crunchy for my liking. Some dinosaurs go wild for the Poppins. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, so wait a minute. Wait. With the bad pop. This is a crunchy Poppin. It's guaranteed to dislodge a loose tooth. I. I love that they're just roasting the poppins at any chance they I'm get. I'm excited to meet this poppin. Oh yeah, it's the next day, so we'll, we'll be able to meet him. All right, let's we'll let's meet today. give him a crunchy pop. Well, I mean, it won't. Uh, this Gallimimus isn't in danger of losing a tooth because True. they are edentulous. They are edentulous, aka toothless, like the dragon. Press to pet your new friend. Well, no, toothless oh. has teeth. I know, no, but friend. okay, what are we gonna do? Oh. Oh. oh! He's spring onion. He's, he's green. Oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> We're going to name you after the food you hate. <laughs> spring onion. Oh, he's so happy. Adorable. You make a friend the first try. Gonna follow us home. Okay, like the Kretosaurus. Those guys are fast. They make incredible steeds. Stereachosaurus charged straight through a boulder. Oh, okay. So that's what we got to do. Find this gallon is a dreamstone pronto. Every dino needs one. Zippity. Oh, okay. Okay, so we got a quest. So that's our limit on dinos, is how many is dreamstones. Dream stones. Find a large dreamstone. We've now got no pen for um for our other little di our other dingosaur there. Well, maybe they can share. They can have roommates. Maybe. They well oh, gallimimus none. But Parasaurolophus coexisted with Ornithomimosaurus, they should be friendly. Gallimimus yeah. discovered. What does it say? What does it say in the... Uh, spring onion needs a pen. Diet is omnivorous. Its treat is... Um, it's a shamrock colored, uncommon. Doesn't have a pen, doesn't have a dreamstone, doesn't have food, it's not clean. We can make notes. Bye. Oh, I uh, like that we just have a note section. What? So what does our journal say about Gallimimus? I want to see what fat... What, Gallimimus facts we have. Okay, there's like a Dinopedia. Cool. Yeah. Oh, um, he can water. 
Gallimimus are theropods found throughout Paleopines. Beloved by ranchers of all ages for their bright plumage and playful nature, they make great steeds too, thanks to their swift speed, ability to sprint, and their uh, and how cute they look when they run. Amazing. Okay. They they eat two omnivore a day. Oh my God! They eat meat. They they, they like to live in packs. They're social. They need 25 square meters and their waters and spitters. I mean, maybe it behooves us at least a little bit as a paleo channel. So far, all of the designs, I mean, they're all obviously cutesy and like they, they fit within this really nice art style that the game has going, but none of them are like, they're all pretty paleo informed. Like the Gallimimus is feathery, it's got uh, wings, but it, it doesn't look even like they're, I mean, it looks like they might be panaceous, but like. Um, look good. I it, like how they look. Its hands are facing each other. Yeah. You can tell it doesn't have teeth. Um, but the spring onion needs a pen. What's our active quest now? Is it just to it's to find him find find a large dreamstone for spring onion? You mean like that one in the rock right there? Is that one? Oh, maybe. Can you help me? <laughs> What's a dreamstone? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get unlucky and. Hopefully, Spring Onion is going to follow us. Yep. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, look, behind the rock. I think yeah. there was one that was on the ground. See? Oh, yeah. I. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, my God. OK. All right, we found a large dreamstone. Yay. <laughs> OK. So now that what? Oh, Pat Lucky. Um, tell Mari what you learned. Okay. Talk to Granny. Okay, so I think let's go build a pen for Spring Onion. Do we have to talk to Mari again? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay. Here. Speaking of, like, on the topic of paleo-informed designs, uh, I like the little touch that the Parasaurolophus is facultatively bipedal. That it walks on its four legs yeah. when it's just walking around and on its two legs when it's trucking. <laughs> That's, that is really cute. There's a green stuff. has got to go into maximum there's overdrive. There's another green friend. Can we get another green friend? Let's try. Let me get my flute. My flute, give it a toot. Okay. Red, red, red purple. Oh, yeah. First, we gotta get his attention. Oh. Okay, we got their attention. I hope they like carrots. Blue, yellow, big purple. Okay. Yes. He's getting closer. It's curious. Oh, but we we don't have anything to feed it. Oh. oh but okay, this is just gonna get it too calm. We can't get it into the green. Okay. Dang. Sag. Also, it's worth noting that these Cetacosaurus, the brown ones, are informed by the study of the coloration of Cetacosaurus. So this is more or less what we think that little dinosaur looked like. It is. It's even got the little quills and everything. Like yeah. that's and just those little spots. Perfect. Yeah. I picked up a stone. I'm going to go into town and see if we can meet Pippin, because we need to get more Poppins if we're going to get dinosaurs. Yes. OK, we're not going to address what that person just said. What was it? They're like, I've been thinking about you, like, a lot. Oh, oh. Well, hold on, let's. <laughs> but let's here looks like we got Pippin. Is Hello, Pippin. Pippin. A child? Pippin, Pippin makes poppins. Like Pippin what has is... a lot of crap in I was their say... hair. <laughs> Not like little cakes. Poppins are a cultural tradition from an age-old family recipe. How would you describe a cake? Sweet, moist, or spongy? Moist, 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 moist. moist, moist. <laughs> 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 As per tradition, poppins are crunchy, dry, salty, chunky, and taste 
chunky, chunky. It tastes absolutely nothing like cakes. Thank you very much. Forgotten their charm. They're really good. I, I'm starting to feel bad for Pop. I'm, yes, I'd like. I'm it really Pop. feeling bad for Pippin. There's no crunch more satisfying. It's Fifty shells. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, feel 45. less bad. For That's Pippin. a discount. Okay, we're gonna get one for free. We need more Pippin's guys. Except on baking days when my stall is closed. Nice to meet you, Dr. Jimbo. Okay, well, we've completed the quest to meet the locals. Um, let's see if we can get us some pop. Pop up. So this is the Pippin's rice, suspiciously crunchy, and the crunchy poppin. <laughs> um, the poppin's a hundred, hundred guys. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, should we what? buy one? One. Good. I mean. Yeah, we can buy one. We'll buy one. Because we need it to get a Styracosaurus, probably. Yeah, probably. Okay. Get some rice? It's only 10. The rice is 10. Okay, maybe some, maybe some dinosaurs like the rice, too. Okay. Confirm. Excellent taste. All right, let's go. Um, oh, it oh, looks like, yeah. For us. Mario wants to talk. Yeah, Mario. Wahoo! <laughs> Chat. What do you mean? It's been rough. The path that would blocked. It's tricky without my tools. Would Wait, you did you leave stone? all of your carpentry tools in a different town? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so he wants 10 stone from the ranch. Um, looks like it's getting to be nighttime, more or less. So let's, let's go home. I wonder, there's a bunch of those piles of debris around the yeah farm. i think we can yeah i think I we can clear those up yeah lucky uh, should be able to do that i wonder how many comments we're gonna what's that bright white thing on the left is that like an albino critter or is this another rock oh my yeah. god it's happened three times now folks oh hang on mari's over here with the styracosauruses let's and her utah raptor friend what's the utah raptor's name uh, oh yeah, it's uh, paprika. paprika. That's a good name. Oh my god! It's so cute. Her, her name's Lucky. All right, you know those ones. No, I've been to the tree line of Dapplewood and all the edge of the Ariacotta Canyon. They're not gone. I've seen tracks, but they're just elusive. Okay. What's Lucky's favorite food? Um, well. There's two options that befit a true Italian, I think. Is mushrooms oh or tomatoes? Oh my god. <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we've now made canonically Parasaurolophus like tomatoes by making that decision. Yeah. Should we just try and make friends with this Styracosaurus here? Yeah. Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh. Skittish. Skittish. <laughs> okay, two per. Oh. Two per Big red. Oh god, it's such a pretty little guy. Yeah. And what was the other one? Crap. I don't okay. know. It's not gonna like that, but it'll give us another chance. Big red, medium yellow, small blue. Okay. That little maneuver just cost us. <laughs> it's curious. Okay. Feed. Do you like a tomato? Tomatins. No way. Yes. Yay! I don't like the tomato. Okay. I love its tentative little bite. That's so cute. Okay. We did it. I can't tell if we're in the full green or like the partial green. I think we're in full green. Try befriend. Befriend. With the crunchy poppin'. They got the big beak. They do have a big beak. To crunch it up. If you don't like this, this cost us a hundred bucks. It doesn't like the treat. Well, well that's the free one. That's the free one. Remember? Of a Sure, yeah. Well that's that's the free one. Not even not even this. Giant rhino right. tortoise likes this stuff. Well, that's bad. <laughs> we'll have to figure out what they like. Oh, that's also the wrong way. How do I get home? 
Oh, it's gotta go to the left. Okay. To the left, to the left. Don't get off the Paris or Raw Lopez. Literally Why, everything we own. That Ooh. is the house to the left. Right. What's everyone's favorite way? This is like has almost nothing to do, but I was just thinking about it. Like when you're in a video game, mm -hmm. right? Like usually an open world, like what's your favorite way that they restrict access? Um I like when when like difficulty just gets ramped up, but it doesn't make it impossible. Yeah, so like you can accidentally wind up in a place you're not supposed to be in fun. No, no, out. I mean like outside of the map. Oh. Like how they keep you from like Oh. Uh monsters. Like like Subnautica style. Like just like here there like be the monsters. Ghost Leviathans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's set up another area an area for the yeah. north of mines. Well may maybe maybe the Gallimimes can share with Can't can you assign a pen? Spring onion needs a pen. Okay, has how do we how do we put him in a pen? Maybe put the the dreamstone? Oh yeah. In it? Okay, yeah, maybe. Um let me get the dreamstone out. Um, hang on, I want to change my view here. So we're gang, we're figuring out the controls. It's <laughs> it's not unintuitive. I just am just dumb. Oh. Just that dumb. Put it here, maybe. Wow, that Gallimimus really blends in. Okay, now do I assign a die? Oh, I can upgrade the dream stones with fiber and wood, oh, but I don't know probably. if we want to do that. Pat, pat, pat for you. Did that count? No. Do you have to make a little tent? How do we pick it up again? Um, good question. Oh, I can just... Yoink. Okay, maybe let's put it outside of here. We'll, we'll put it over in this little clearing area. Large dreamstone, okay. I don't want to upgrade it. Oh, large valleys. Okay, you can like change the biome that it's in. Oh. Valley, forest, and desert, okay. Oh, so maybe I have to make this like valley in order for it to be active for, I see. So we need the fiber. We need more. Yeah, and we need some wood, but we need more. But everyone's really tired. So we're gonna go to bed. I hope you won't run off. I also hope that. Spring onion, stick around. We named you. Uh, let's save the progress. And we'll go to sleep. Oh, I might have some stuff in storage we can use too. I don't remember what all I put in there. Did we get the fiber from breaking down the debris? Yes. Okay, so we should do some more clearing. Okay, well, oh. there's spring onion. That's spring onion's still here. What's in the storage? What's in the box? We got more wood, more fiber, um, and some more spring onions. We got more fence, but just one of them. And, and what did food. what did Mario need? Uh, Mario needs stone. We've got Six. he needs and ten. Then... And we've got eight. So. We might want to have some of the other like veggies on us when we go out looking for critters. Yeah. We have so much debris to clear. Oh, we need to update my data on Paris for all of us. Paris for the pie? Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, Paris for all of us, I guess. A new yep. friend, the Galilinus. Took me months to get Bongo to call me home. He's kind of the expert on Gallimimus. While he was on Dinosaur Care, is there anything vexing you? Okay. Oh, Let's learn perfect. about everything. Everything. Pen. When came for a dinosaur, their pen represents a space they call their own. It needs to be a decent size and fully enclosed with a gate. Um, good pen needs a place to eat, sleep, and to be clean. Okay. 
You want a shovel. Oh, because they go boop. Diet. Just like people, dinosaurs can be finicky. Quantity. Be big ones eat big. Okay. Herbivores eat herbo. Carnivores eat carno. You can purchase both. Don't put... Okay. Third flavor. Every species has a few flavors they like and some they can't stand. Gallimimus likes crunchy. So the carrots, bell peppers, rhubarb. Others might prefer juicy or spicy. Each dinosaur has a favorite food. Bongo loves garlic. Huh. Do I have the answers? Oh, Italian. Italian. <laughs> dreamstones. Lucky's pen already has a dreamstones. They're mostly the most crucial element to a dino's comfort. Science can't explain it, but they love them so much. If, you've got, if you haven't got one, you may uh, wake up one morning and find they've run off to find one themselves. Speaking of which, keep your eyes open. They're rare, but if you bring home new friends, you'll need them. Uh, trust. You don't own them. They're not pets or property. They're your friends. Okay, that's fun. I like that. Hey. It's a choice whether they stay with you. You better treat them well. The better you treat them, the more they'll trust you and the longer they'll stick around. So I'd like to hop out around the ranch. Pretty. Okay. Once you get a saddle, you can ride them. Okay. That was incredibly helpful, Owen. Thank you. Yes, Owen, that's uh, magnificent. Pair notes. Can you give him a pat for that? Let's take a closer look at Spring Onion. Okay. With my journal in hand. That's it. See how Spring Onion is feeling. Unhappy friend. Oh, no. No. The heart. Spring Onion. Unhappy He's lonely. Or they'll trust you. Probably. I don't know. Okay. He could be. So we need to feed Spring Onion. I know our mission is to get the Styracosaurus, but I feel like I really want to make Spring Onion happy. I want to make Spring Onion happy too. <laughs> so we're going to pat. Maybe that'll help. Um, no. Stamina. So we need crunchy. We need a pen. We yeah. need There's a pen and here. we need omnivore. What's this? I don't what know. Oh, it's, oh, storage. it's storage. Okay, it's just another access for it. Use the flute to get this ahead. Okay, why? Oh, whoops. Flute, please. Ask to follow me. Okay. Oh, and then you lead them into a pen. Mm. Okay, maybe he can share the pen with. Um... Oh, yeah. Okay, stay is uh, 333. Three, three. Oh! Lucky's happy too. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Place a large dream stone and spring a new pen. Okay, hang on. Okay, um, so we had the right idea. We were just a little bit too early. Yeah. So now we move this thing back into there. Don't want to waste my stamina running. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, back up a little bit. There you go. Oh. There we go. Okay, Spring Onion's happy. Okay, let's check our let's check our little dinosaur guys. Okay, we got uh, there's a dino menu. Ha too happy, great, fantastic. Um, Lucky's pen has Lucky and Spring Onion, and we don't know their favorite treats yet. Lucky's a happy helper, and Spring Onion's a happy friend. This is great. This is delightful, tremendous. Um, do we want to use Lucky to clear up some of the more? Debris that's around in the pen. Yes, I think we should because then we can bring some stones to uh, to Mario. Well, there's some in, in Lucky's pen as well, like in there with her. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at all let's that. Clean up, let's, let's clean up your act a little bit in here. Also, we should try giving her a tomato because we said that that was the favorite. Oh yeah. Let's so maybe that. to like make so it the favorite. Do. Tomato. Lucky really liked that tomato. <laughs> I, I really uh, like that pop up. <laughs> um, Lucky's favorite treat is tomato. 
So hey. you got to, oh, good, good thinking. All right, let's get some more. How much stone do I have now? I got 12. I don't know if we should invest more materials in upgrading this thing now that we don't, now that we know. Yeah, we, we don't, don't need to. Yeah. Yeah, let's just clean up the farm a little bit more. Yeah, and we don't have to water our carrots today because it's raining. Oh, behind the tent. Come on, turn around. There we go. It's like driving a boat. Parasaurolophus <laughs> doesn't handle too great. They don't turn on a dime. All right. Um... Okay. Let's. Uh... Oh, we're getting carrot seeds and stuff too. Wow. Yeah, yeah, no, it said that in the journal, it said that the wind has blown some seeds onto the ranch. Oh. Okay, oh, Lucky's Lucky stamina. stamina. Look at Lucky's stamina. Oh, no. So we, just, we won't use Lucky to sprint. We'll just ride normal speed. If you're not part of the turbo team, you don't run. You walk slowly. <laughs> oh, look at the puddles. It's cute. Okay, and we know that Styracosaurus likes tomatoes, but they don't like the crunchy poppin. No one does. Some clover. Well, the galley did. Yeah. No one. Okay. Well, so we've solved our problem with Lucky, or with Spring Onion. So now we just need to um, befriend the Styracosaurus and we can clear those boulders. Hell yeah. And give Granny the carrots. Let's bring the stone to Mario, because we're right here. And then other guy needs to talk to us too. Yeah. Find me. Take these. Okay, we got more fence. Cool. Oh, thank God. Thank you for that. What can I do? What can I do you for? What are you buying? Uncle's budding day, and I completely forgot. Do you need dandelion or clover? Fifteen or each? Okay, well, we we have clover. We don't. I don't think we have fifteen. We've got. Oh, it's, a, it's back at the ranch. Oh, they just get out of the ranch inventory. Interesting. Okay, well, the carrots are for Granny. Okay, Pippin wants to tell us something. Are you reducing the? the price on your poppins are particularly crunchy can i attempt you yes let's do some business pop it. chat okay no well what, what's the quest oh what are may, maybe you have to say no not exactly what do you not exactly good call something better another flavor there you go flavor they laugh in the face of tradition and family values. Corlin hates them. He looks like <laughs> Arthur. He does. I love how Corlin's just yelling into this conversation from down at the bottom of the hill. They just suck. Like, you suck! <laughs> Man, Juicy pop this guy stinks. Try me some strawberries or carrots. Okay. Best updated befriend. Uh, okay. So, I think that we need... A friend of Stracosaurus, a strawberry or a carrot. Okay. Now, well, we'd probably like the, the tomato question. because it was juicy. Yeah. Can we just buy one? Not today. No, no but we can buy carnivore I food. I think we should. Well, I think we'll also need some carnivore food because um, Spring Onion takes omnivore. I mean, I wonder if that means that that they'll do both. Like, see, yeah, I'm not sure if that's both, uh, if or if it's correction. I'm not sure if it's either or both. Yeah. Well, let's buy four carnivore food just to have. You'll be back. <laughs> that's ominous, Corlin. Thank you. Um. Blah 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 blah. Okay. It'd be cool to research those sleeping uh, Cetacosauruses. What do you sell? You sell seeds. Okay. I think we need to go back now and drop off because our inventory is completely full up. And don't don't run unlucky. We don't want 
No. We don't want Lucky to do the horse thing and get absolutely exhausted and fall over and then we're gonna have to shoot her. Oh god. Is that a Where red does the one? meat come from? Good we question. We won't, we, won't, we won't look into this. I wonder if we have to go out at night to view the this Tachosaurus is sleeping. Probably. That would get that one. See, it is nice that you can just run around and get random piles of herbivore food, but like it is gonna be very, very, very creepy if we run yeah. around and find little piles of carnivore food. Oh, is that a dreamstone over in the corner of the ranch? Yeah. It might be, yeah. Okay, hang on, let me Well I gotta I gotta empty my inventory out. Real quick. Um yeah, oh yeah, we have seventeen clover, so we could give enough to Corlin. Okay, cool. Um those in there. Carver food in there. Fiber, stone wood, carrot seeds. We actually should probably plant some more carrot seeds. Because we're gonna need more carrots than just the ten for granny. I like how if it's raining, it they just automatically are watered. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a really nice. Of course, the minute I unmute, they buzz my apartment. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take this this moment to refill the watering can while I have my uh, stamina low. OK, come on. There we go. Um, I don't think we can get to that dreamstone yet. Oh, we're, we're going to have to through. smash some boulders. So we're going to need our Styracosaurus pal to do that. Um, let's go back to here. Put our tomatoes in there. No, we might want to have them for dinosaurs. Seeds we don't need for dinosaurs. I don't know if the rice is something you would feed a dinosaur, well, but maybe. Well, it's, it's crunchy, so it's dinosaurs that like crunchy. Okay. And we know Styracosaurus likes juicy, but let's keep it on us. Keep that thing on us. Keep that juicy um, thing on us. How you doing? Check on Spring Onion. Um, Happy friend. So the issue is, oh, maybe we can maybe we can put some carnivore in there. But it said don't put herbivore food in with a carnivore, or you know what I mean, vice yeah. versa. I would imagine that we would need another trough. Probably because but I think we don't want we don't want Lucky to eat the carnivore. It doesn't seem like a. Like spring onions having any ill effects, you know? Oops. Might be like an eat, like either is fine. That's what I think it probably is, but you know, if it, if it, if it ends up wanting, how do I split a stack, I wonder? Oh, well, okay. Never mind. You don't. All that's in there. Oh, wait, there is a second slot there. What if you put the. I just don't want to, like, make Lucky angry. Let's wait until spring. If spring onion makes a fuss, okay, we'll put in the carnivore food. We're gonna take our clover for Corlin. Does he want both or one or the other? Fifteen dandelions too, okay, and so fifteen go, clover. Yeah, I'll go find some dandelions. Well, let's go look for dandelions and some strawberries or a carrot. Um, We're going to need another saddle for for spring onion as well. Yeah. But I don't know if you make those or buy those. Probably buy them. Oh. Oh, there's more clover. Well, but pick it. I'm enjoying this immensely. I am too. I'm just I was actually just thinking, and this speaks volumes about the game, that I'm going to be very sad to have to edit these videos and not be playing the game. Yeah. yeah. 
If we didn't have to edit this for tomorrow, I would say we could do a third episode. Uh-oh. Oops. There's okay. something shiny in there. Yeah. I'm gonna go check that out. Play fragment. Artifact discovered. Okay, it's now midday. I Afternoon, heavy rain. Okay, interesting. I can't believe in our in this in Paleo Pines we're doing archaeology. <laughs> Heretical. Maybe this is where the lore comes from. Probably. It says to take these things to the historian, so. Oh, those Karetha swords are so cute. Should we try and make a friend? Uh, I don't think we have space. You're right. You're right. I don't. We wouldn't be able to keep them on the farm yet. They're adorable. Where the hell are they? Some wood. Things? For free? Maybe? For me? No. Okay. That's fine. Bonk. Something just made a very cute sound. All right, not having tremendous luck finding strawberries or dandelions or carrots, but we've certainly found more clover. A couple things here. Hang on. So there's the clover. Ooh, yeah, that stuff. What is this? Oh, more fragments. More Another part of the puzzle. Ancient tablet fragment. Okay. Can I go through this? No. So we obviously need some kind of dinosaur to cut our way through that brush. Maybe if we're lucky, if there is an Osaurus, that would be quite fun. That would be fun. It would make sense. Okay, we are over here. So let's maybe go up to like Mari's house. Maybe she's got strawberries growing. Okay, we can't get there. So that's the path to the other town. Okay. I can see us. Oh, what are those? Hang on. Ooh. I can't sprint, and I'm not going to. But there's some friends down there. <gasps> Little therapods? They are. Yes. Carnivorous guys. Oh goodness. Okay, Maybe. I don't we can't make friends with them, but we should I think if we play the flute at them. Coelophysis? The, I'm guessing Coelophysis. Do they have you? feathers? They do. I really like the little googly eyes. I, I like how jittery they are. Yeah. <laughs> They're not making their friend call. Okay, hang on. Oh, it's, now it's glitched. Big yellow, blue, purple, blue, blue, Oh purple. my god. Big yellow. Blue, purple, blue, blue, purple. The yellow, blue, purple, blue, blue, purple. Well, these guys also have... The Coelophysis is curious about you. It is a Coelophysis. Oh well, my god, they'll eat tomatoes. I've got no... Should we try and feed a Coelophysis a tomato? If you give a Coelophysis a tomato. I'm going to try. He's probably going to hate it. Look at his big old teeth. Chomp. Oh, nope. They love the tomato. Well, maybe well, because it's juicy and it tastes, it, it reminds him of flesh. I think we should probably leave before we spend more resources on the Coelophysis, though, because we have nowhere to put it. 
that's fair. It's been a joy making friends with you. It is. It is funny that like, um, I guarantee that the the ones with the orange heads are like the common variety. Ooh, are like the common varietal, but like yeah, and, and that well, that that all green one is the rare one. But like, I really like the the orange heads. Me too. I also think that now with this new dreamstone we found, we probably could have had the Coelophysis, but now we don't have enough tomatoes. Well, we need we need Styracosaurus. You're right, you're right. I don't even think we have enough tomatoes for a Styracosaurus. I need to focus. No, probably not. We can maybe buy a tomato. Any strawberries, any carrots. Any My kingdom for strawberries. So, Alex, are you happy that they gave the Coelophysis some, some fluff? I am. As our viewers can refer to our earlier video about Coelophysis, there are some uh, reconstructions that have it with feathers and some with ha that have it without, but I find that the reconstruction of a feathered Coelophysis is, might be more likely because, one, uh, the ancestor of dinosaurs was likely feathered, and two, there have been kind of estimates that based on its range, uh, it would have been much more likely that it had some kind of downy, feathery integument to uh, to keep warm in the cooler, higher latitudes that Coelophysis has been found in. Or Play this. This is broken. Very astute. Astute, Dr. Jimbo. That's why, that's why he's got that PhD. Yeah. Dr. Jimbo, maybe if you actually took my adhesive training, <laughs> you'd learn how to fix that. Do you, uh, do you make people that you're training put together like a broken clay pot? Yep, that's exactly what I do. Um, the simple version... I've this before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the simple version of the training is basically I just put a clay pot in a little geological sample bag and then I just throw it at the ground or at a wall or something and Ooh. then I'm like put it back together give him a tube of B72 but that would be a fantastic video if Scott made us take his training I that think that would that's a great fun. idea and yeah. we all race um, and we all we all get frustrated and are like Scott this is stupid and we hate you well no I would not because I've actually done prep before and I like it a lot. See, All right, well, then maybe you can't do it because it'd be cheating. See, you might get a little frustrated because the advanced version of my training I do is it, it, it's if I have uh, either someone who's a bit more advanced or I have a couple of people doing it, I'll um, take the little broken bits of pottery in each of the different bags and I'll remove some pieces and swap some other ones in different bags because that's great. Not everything is perfect. Yeah. Oh, another dreamstone. Yeah. Sneaky. I like that we're taking them all out of the wild so the dinosaurs have to sleep at our house. <laughs> Remember, they're not your pets or friends, but you won't... But they're not your pets or... But they have to sleep here. But you are... It's the... It's, it's capitalism. It's coercion. So it seems like the day-night cycle's pretty long because we're still in... Um afternoon. Okay, we're getting into evening now. Mm. What's up? Hey, Mari, uh, where the hell are the dandelions? Please help me. I've found so much clover. And not a, dan not a lion to be dandy anywhere. For more food. More clay pots. This is broken. Such wisdom in those eyes. Oh, why is Dr. Jimbo? I don't even want to pick up from that cloak. I'm not getting off the dinosaur unless I see a dandy lion. A lion, dandy <laughs> or otherwise. <laughs> We okay, what's just... this? Clover. Oh my god. 
God. And a pot. I think this one might be broken. Oh, it was a mysterious statue fragment. No, please. There we go. Very cool. Cool. All right, I like that there's like an underlying, there's some underlying mystery to, to the whole the whole place. Yeah. It's always I fun. I wonder if we can buy dandelions or something at the shops in town. If we can what? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Buy dandelions or something at the shops in town. Maybe. We'll try tomorrow. Hang on. Maybe they're right here. Oh Maybe my they were god. Right, right here the whole time. Maybe the no, real this, dandelions were the friends who made the way. Hi, Herb. Okay. Get some cranberries. Right, I'll pick this clover because I'm not on the dinosaur. There's some stuff behind those rocks back there, too. Yeah. Oh. Dreamstone. You see, when when they said that they were like really rare, I was worried that it would be like, oh, you can have like six dinos, and now mm. we're finding them all over the place. All scarcity. Planned obsolescence. I want to hang out until it gets dark to see if we can find those Tatakasaurus is sleeping and do that yeah. quest. Yeah. Oh, free wood. Oh, free food. At some point, we do need to consider when we're going to call this episode because it's getting getting on about an hour. Yeah, we're probably maybe at the at, at, like when we decide to like call it a night. Yeah. I'm waiting for you to sleep. Sleep. They're just having fun with each other forever. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to, well, while we wait for nighttime to come, I'm, I am going to go to the shops and see what else we can buy. If they're open. If they're open. Ooh, do you think they'll have a Dan Flashes down by the shop, in shops? Hopefully. I can spend all my per diem. If they'll have a what? He has been spending... Dan flashes. They've got okay. So Corlin's got potatoes. Might be good to buy some potatoes. Oh, they're very expensive. Let's buy three potatoes. Pears. Oh, hang on. Is that a saddle? Ooh. Yeah. Two fifty. We can't afford it. Well, if only I hadn't spent all my money on potatoes. Oh, we can sell oh. things. Okay, well, money can be traded for goods and, goods and services. <laughs> I was thinking of that joke as, <laughs> I, as you were saying it. I wonder if I can give him part of the. Uh, sorry to keep going in and out of this menu. Yeah, what are you doing? I wonder if I can complete part of his quest without, and like, give him the clover. Oh, no, okay, I gotta do it. Uh, is this gonna be a day gated quest? Like, if, if we don't do it today, are we. Uh, SOL, maybe. Oh, we can get hella bad. Cranberries. We need 250. I'm gonna need about 350. I'll be buying that. Thank you very much. We have no more money. Thank you very much. <laughs> Two dollars to our name. I get, you know, here's the thing. If he had, if he would sell us dandelions, he wouldn't need us to go find them. That is a wood. very good point. Does does the the grandma character have dandelion seeds? Uh, I think she only had potato, carrot, and spring onions. Well, let let's go saddle up our Gallimimus, who I bet it's. If if the oh, hang level on, hang of on. oh. Oh, I saw some. I saw some Z's. I did too. Whoops. I bet spring onion's gonna be faster than 
then look. Yeah, I, let's let's go put the saddle on Spring Onion and then we'll come ride back on back. Yeah. Oh, Lucky got stamina. Sweet. Still not a lot though, but. Nyo. Oh, my cat is snoring and I can hear him in the background. It's very oh, cute. Adorable. Okay, let's just equip the saddle. Um, oh. Doesn't trust me enough yet. <laughs> How do we build up trust again? Maybe let me give him a crunchy treat. Do we have any crunchy treats? Yeah, we have the rice. Right, okay, let me go to the storage. Where's the rice? Rice? Where did you go? Nope, food doesn't Potatoes spoil. Potatoes are crunchy. We can give him a potato. Oh, we'll give him a potato. But where did the rice go? That's a that's a troubling question. Huh. Did you put it in the storage booth? Is the storage booth separate? The one at the front, maybe? Yeah. I'll go check after I feed this, this potato. I knew I bought these for a reason. And they were for you, Spring Onion. Well, doesn't appear that their favorite food was the potato, but they are now a happy friend. Well, remember their favorite uh, their favorite food is garlic. Well, that's the one um, the one gallimimus, but I think it's dino specific, not species. Specific. Really? Oh, that's what the guy made it sound like. No, this is the same storage. So the rice has uh, vanished. <laughs> We've lost the rice. I wonder if that's what rice. those stars mean. We have no rice. I don't know what the stars mean. We're rizzless, riceless. The styracosauruses might like cranberries. I'm gonna put those back in our inventory. We're gonna put this there. No, we'll keep it because we might want to feed a dino. That there. Okay, we're gonna take Lucky back and try and look at those uh, Cetacosauruses. Mm -hmm. And then we'll call them mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still really, really, really curious what those like little bipedal armored dudes were with the ankylosaurus. Oh, me too. God, that's not sprint, and it never will be, and it never was. What game have you been playing where right click is sprint? None. A, a game such as that does not exist. But I am convinced it does, apparently. All right, late. All right, uh, night owls. Let's have a have a nap. Come on. Let's go to Sleepy Time Junction. Oh, hang on. I have an idea. I think I just had the same idea that you did at the same moment. Trouble? Mediocre minds think alike. Thank you. We have the like soothe option, and if yeah. we soothe it enough, maybe it'll fall asleep. Put it into a coma. Blue, yellow, purple. Okay, so, uh... See, they are sleepy. Sack source is curious, honey. Oh, he's already he's already almost in full Z's. Go to sleep now. Sleepy time. Oh, that's <gasps> you put him to sleep. So cute. It got bored. Oh, so you can research them when they're asleep you without like catching them. You bored him to tears. This might be what we need to do to, okay, this is the strategy though. Because now we learn what, oh. no, we don't learn what they but we kind of learn that they like tender Stachosaurs are adorable little dinos that like to hang out in pairs. They're often found sniffing out fresh veggies in the wild or using their beaks to crack open crunchy treats. Amazingly, they're distant relatives to Triceratops, but their small size better suits them for tracking than smashing. So discover. 
they can like root around for things and stuff. Oh, they're like little uh, little truffle hogs. Oh my god, <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> this is a great game, ten out of ten game. I'm so happy. And this now we just have to. Immense joy. Well, hang on, it didn't update. The... <laughs> Study Rob Sackler while sleeping. Maybe I need to like study it more. Do you mean, like... Maybe you do need to just let it be asleep instead of like taming it, you know? Maybe. Or maybe that'll update like in the morning. Oh, maybe. no, I just had to oh. click on it. There we go. Okay. Well, so now the next day we can talk to Mari and, and get some new, some fresh shells. Should I do this to this? Hang on. There we go. It's asleep. Sneak up on it. Write it down in your journal while it's sleeping. That's how I learn more about all my friends. Styracosaurus, horned herbivores, found grazing in fields. Like its relatives, Triceratops and Centrosaurus, it's a friendly rock smasher and farm tiller. Playful, loyal, and can't resist a juicy treat such as a strawberry or a tomato. So their favorite treat is juicy. We don't know how much area they need. They're a tiller and a smasher. And we also know that Centrosaurus is in the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, Lucky, let's go home. I know it's a really good game when I'm like, I know that we need to like wrap this episode up and we need to go home, but I'm desperately like, go find all the other dinosaurs we don't know anything about and write about them while they're asleep so we can find out about them. Yeah. Like right now, right now. <laughs> well, I have a proposal. It might be late, but we only need to edit the one for tomorrow today. Mm -hmm. So perhaps later this evening. Like uh, it, would be, it would be goblin hours. No. Okay, I'm making a proposal. That's all. I respect the proposal, but... I want to play this so bad. I want to play this so bad. I'm so mad. <laughs> Scott, are you a little salty, buddy? I'm, I'm salty in a fun way of like, I just, I wish that this was the rest of my Sunday. It's not. It's not. Here is the rest of Dalton's. Oh, oh, they should be done. It was three days, right? I, I don't know if it's been three or two. This might be the third day. I think this is the third day. It's dawn of the third day. Yeah, but it is the dawn of the third day and the dusk of this episode of Paleo Pines. We have learned many things. We need to make a Ceracosaurus friend, but most importantly, we have made a Gallimimus friend in the form of Spring Onion, <laughs> whom is currently an unhappy friend no. because the pen is dirty. But we can clean the pen and maybe it'll look at them Are those dandelions? Are those dandelions that are growing They're in our pen right now? They are, but you can't grab them. Why can't we uh, grab them? I think just because it's finicky. The pen is dirty. What's dirty about it? Oh, this pile <laughs> of a uh, pile of manure. Pre copper light. Okay, now they're happy again. Happy friend. Hooray. Proper progress. I don't know what. Hmm. Well, save food, not potato. There we go. All right. But we've, we've made a friend. We've seen many cute companions. We will be producing more Paleo Pines content. Absolutely. Because this is tremendously fun. Uh, everyone should should get this game and play it as soon as you can. I really like it. <laughs> What's it available on? Um, that's a great question. It will be available on, I know, at least PC and Switch. Oh, um, play PS4, PS5, Switch, Xbox, and PC. Oh, wow. So everything. 
yeah, yeah. The whole kit and caboodle i believe the demo's only on pc for now and when the when the demo launches publicly it will continue to be in pc at least for the the interim um but pre-ordering is available now if you're inclined to do that you can get the full game on september 26th when it launches so keep your eyes peeled for that the demo june 19th it goes public a couple days after our stream yes a couple days after our stream which reminder is coming up quickly on june 17th 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Time. That's 12 hours of Skeleton Crew content, and you're not going to want to miss a single second. You're going to pay for the full seat, but you're only going to need the edge. And that payment is going to go straight to a good cause, that being the Trevor Project. Come join us to support a great cause in honor of Pride Month and see the Skeleton Crew get up to all kinds of shenanigans, including more Paleo Pines and a chat with the devs. We're really looking forward to seeing you there. And we're really looking forward to seeing you on more Skeleton Crew videos. If you want to see more, what you need to do is hit that subscribe button and hit the bell because that's going to notify you every time we have a new video. And we're making more and more videos lately, and you're not going to want to miss a single one. They're all long. And we do and sometimes try great. to make them. They're all great. <laughs> we sometimes try to make them shorter. And we never succeed. We don't succeed. It's the one thing we're not good at is making short videos. We're good at every single other thing. <laughs> um, Everything. But like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. We really love seeing your comments. Um, we're really loving the engagement that the channel's getting. And we hope that you enjoy this new, uh, new paleo game that we're playing, Paleo Pines. Uh, so with that, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.